Hello world, in this episode we're going to make a basketball. So, let's get started. First you're going to start by hitting new, and again we're going to do everything in inches. So hit standard IN. Let's do a 2D sketch. Really doesn't matter the plane, I'm going to do it on the YZ plane. And I'm going to start a circle right here in the middle. So, if you don't know how big a basketball is, take a tape measure. Measure it. Uh, but that might be kind of tough. Or you can Google it. So, it is about 9.55 inches wide. So, I'm going to double click the mouse roller button or hit this top view right here. And you can see 9.55 inches wide as a diameter. Now, that is the size of a guy's basketball. Girl's basketball is slightly smaller. So, I'll let you decide which one you're going to make. All right. You might think, all right, cool, let's do that. If I finish sketch and then I extrude it, wait a second, that does not make a basketball. So let's cancel that, and then we want to go back into this sketch because I can't just, don't double click it. What you want to do is right click on this and go to edit sketch, okay? I'm going to just show you one more time. If I try to double click it or start a new sketch, that's not going to work. So I can also double click this sketch and it should open back up. You know that you're in this sketch because it's white and then these other parts are grayed out. So let's take a line here and I'm going to start on our horizontal line. I'm going to draw a line all the way across to kind of cut this in half. So I clicked it and I'm going to hit the escape button to escape out of here. I'm then going to use the trim tool. It says it right here, it looks like a pair of scissors, and I'm going to trim this away. So as you can see, I'm just gonna cut that off or click on it, and you can see I've got a green line going across here, and I can even trim that end off, and I can trim that end off, and now we're all good. All right, diameter is still the same. So now what I can do is finish this sketch take a revolve tool that's new to us there's two things you got to click on you got to click on the profile that you want to revolve and then you've got to click on the axis that you want to revolve around so in this case I want to revolve around that right there and then you can see we just made a sphere if I hit my home button kind of zooms out or I can double click that center mouse roller button all right let's go ahead and change the color of this so we're gonna change the appearance of it and we're going to change it to orange. Type that out. And I'm going to click on it. Did it change? No, it doesn't. What I find best is highlighting it like I just did. And then hitting that right there. All right. That is, that is quite an orange. I'm not sure that that's like basketball orange. I'm going to try another one. That's a little better. That, that, that matches that a little bit better. Okay, I like that better. Okay, cool. And that's kind of the very basics. We just want to do a quick sphere. In this case, I'm doing an orange sphere, and I call it a basketball. Cool. All right, looks great. Now save it. So hit File, Save As. So make sure you save it into your Google Drive and your IED folder. Your IED folder should be named your class period, IED, your first initial and your last name. And then what we're gonna name this is basketball, your first initial and your last name. In my case, it's S Ponder. All right, hit save and you're all done. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, my contact information is below or you can ask me in class. See you later.